Hey, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to be talking about blue tick coonhounds. This is my puppy, Osaka, and she's a blue tick coonhound, and she is nine weeks old. <laughs> she's actually a rescue, and she had nine other siblings. Um, but blue ticks are actually pretty like popular in the dog world, I guess. So, so they all went pretty fast. Um, I actually picked her brother, Navi who was a male brother, duh. Um, but when we called to get him, he was pending for somebody else. So the lady was like, hey, I have two other dogs, like females, would you be interested? And so she was one of them. So yeah, sure, and we ended up with her. Her name was actually uh, Majora before we got her, but I really wanted to name a dog and I came up with Osaka because I thought it was a killer whale's name that I'd seen in a movie, but turns out that that name was Kasaka, and I just didn't change it because I liked Osaka. So while I was reading up on like how to care for a puppy in general, I came across five interesting facts about actual coon ticks themselves. Number one, the nose is very distinctive to their breed. Um, they're hunting dogs, so they have a really strong nose and they're actually known to, like when you take them on a walk, you have to keep them on a leash because they'll follow their nose rather than their owner. So that's happened a couple times. Fact two, they're a very vocal breed, dog breed. Um, this also comes into the hunting aspect of it. They howl to get their, like, I guess owners attention when they're hunting so like if they found something or they killed something they alert their owner and that's why they're very vocal they are not actually blue even though their name is blue tick um the blue comes from their black being looking like blue in certain lightings and the tick comes from like some of them are kind of like speckled and they'll have like tick looking marks on their body, but Osaka is completely black for the most part, so uh, that's not here in this case. Fact number four, they're really important to Southern culture. Um, this comes with them being hunting dogs and really a blue tick is actually the um, mascot of the University of Tennessee, which is pretty cool. Um, and them being an important part of Southern culture actually leads us to our last one, fact number five, which is they actually originate from Louisiana. So, um, I'm gonna have to read this because I don't have this memorized. They originate from Louisiana and interestingly, the breed was developed from the Blue D. Gascon, the English Foxhound, the Cur Dog, the Black and Tan Virginia Foxhound, and the American Foxhound. So that's a lot of things that come to get, came together to make blue ticks. <laughs> okay, well, that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new about blue ticks. Bye! Bye. <laughs>